Tilta has a new adapter to adapt any manual lens into an autofocus lens. Let's check it out. This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity and I'm here with Phil from Tilta. Phil is a little bit of a shy guy, <laughs> but I hope he can talk a little bit louder. Okay. Okay. okay? <laughs> anyway, Phil, you have something new to show us from Tilta. Yes. And I have to say that we are recording this video during uh, Interbe 2025. But actually, you haven't decided when you want this product to be in the market. So it might be that you see this video a little bit uh, like in a month or two months time. But anyway, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, the first time we sh just uh, want to show you the Nucleus Ecosystem Autofocus Adapter. Uh, it's based on our Nucleus Ecosystem. We can uh, use this app uh, adapter let the uh, manually uh, cinema lens become an out of fox ecosystem. Great. So, as you said, it takes manual lenses, let's say cine, cine lenses, and transform them into autofocus lenses. So there are already in the market few products that doing so. What is the highlight in your product? In our uh, opinion, the product must be easy and uh, convenient to use. So we supply the uh, lens library to the customers. You can easily choose which lens you're using and uh, uh, no more complicated uh, calibration. It's uh, well, quick, uh, quick to use and quick to pick. We will uh, supply the customers how to calibration uh, the manually lens. But if you already uh, have the lens in our library, you just can pick and uh, time to use. Ah, okay. So it's just a matter of clicking the right uh, parameters or the profile, the lens profile, and that's it. Yes, that's it. Kusa. Uh, we already have a, a lot of database of the different brand lens in our library. We just uh, can, uh, with a firmware update, can uh, up to the adapter and you can just uh, pick. If you uh, think the, the, uh, the data is not very well, you also can buy yourself to make it. Uh, besides, I want to say the autofocus ecosystem just a part of the nucleus ecosystem uh, I mean, one part of the nucleus ecosystem. Uh, at the same time, we also can supply customers to use manually focus when you're using the nucleus uh, autofocus adapter. So this is really as easy as, as you showed me. You literally press the button, yes, and then you can override the autofocus and focus manually. Yes, and uh, if you release the button, it goes back to be autofocus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we want to uh, give the rights to the customers. You can decide which time you use the autofocus and uh, which time you use the uh, manually autofocus. Which lens mounts will you support with this uh, nucleus ecosystem? Uh, at the first wave should be the E mount from Sony, uh, and uh, the next step we will focus on the RF mount, uh, L mount in the future. Now, if I'm, a, if I'm a solo shooter and I don't need the whole mechanism, the whole nucleus system, all I need is really your adapter and the other part that touch the gear. Will you sell this one only? Yeah, in the future we will uh, supply the uh, so-called uh, like a solo kit for the uh, solo shooters. Just uh, one adapter and uh, one motor you can convenient to use and uh, not the huge uh, follow focus on those. Where will the system get power from? Uh, you you mean the power? power uh, well, we can use a, a lot of uh, uh, battery uh, power solution such as you see the Right now, we're using our uh, play, uh, battery plate here. So in the future, you can use uh, even like uh, MPF powers. Uh, uh, we also have the power solution. What about availability? I believe we can uh, release it before NAB next year. I mean, 2026. 20, this is qu quite a long time. I mean, it takes more development or wh wh what is missing in order to release it soon? Uh, I think we have the experience to tuning to the final experience and also we will add a lot of lens data in our adapter and uh, we hope it can help uh, uh, help customers to choose a free, uh, free brand lens not focus on uh, one or two uh, lens brand. 
and the pricing, do you have any sort of idea about the pricing? I believe we can, uh, only for the adapter, I believe we can under 300 USD dollars. If you uh, need the motors, we, uh, we have uh, uh, maybe five, under 500 USD dollars, yeah. Okay. Well, you will need you need the motors. Otherwise, this alone cannot function. No. Yes, uh, we <laughs> still need the motors for the manually uh, cinema lens. But you can choose which size motor you're using because we have uh, already have a lot of uh, type of motors: the tiny motor, uh, the nu nucleus M motors. Yeah, you can choose. When you talk about autofocus, can it keep all the uh, benefits of that, that the camera is offering, let's say like face recognition, for example. Yes, yes. Uh, if you see the monitor, we can say uh, the, the adapter system can recognize uh, such as FX6, face tracking, eyes tracking. Uh, it w works and functional. And what is the autofocus type here? Is it a LiDAR base or, or it doesn't need any LiDAR? How do you actually drive the motors? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, don't need any lidars or the sensors outside. You only need the autofocus cameras, such as FX3. The adapter takes the data from the camera? Yes. And then? Output the data to the motor and tell the motor you have to push your lens to the uh, which uh, stop and uh, keep the focus following. I have to tell you, this is, for me personally, such an interesting development in our market. Because maybe in the future, you really will not have to invest money, maybe, into building autofocus lenses if the, those systems will prove to be reliable enough. That will be very interesting. Yes, yes. We hope for it's convenient for solo shooters or the, or the small uh, studios. It can be convenient to uh, take, take some photos, uh, even like uh, uh, you don't have too much time to uh, follow focus. So it's, uh, it's a new way to uh, get us a uh, new, ins uh, I mean, inspire uh, all the industries. Out of curiosity, will it also work with uh, anamorphic lenses? Yes, uh, we already have uh, the, such as the Atlas lens data in the adapter. Good. You know, there are, some, there are a few Chinese uh, lens manufacturers yeah, who are I'm also making anamorphic lenses. Maybe you should talk to them, or if not, I'm happy to introduce. Yes, yes. Uh, we're open to talk, and uh, we hope we can have a, a lot of cooperation with another lens brand. Great. Phil, anything else that I missed? Anything else that you want to tell our audience about the new upcoming product? I can see that you can also synchronize yeah. with the aperture. Yes, uh, as you see the monitor, uh, it will synchronize the iris number data uh, through the adapter and then you can see the actual number in the monitor. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.